getting around. Hook him, hook him. Hook him. Yeah, you're on, you're on. Oh, what? Rod up, rod up, rod up. That's a shark right there. All right, loosen the drag a bit. Loosen the drag a bit. You're getting a run, you're getting a run. Yes, Banjo. Yes. Oh, he's going. Quickly, walk around, walk around. No, he's right, he's right there. He's right there? Like, and you're onto a bull shark right now. He's gonna eat our feet, most likely. <laughs> Look, he's right there. How can you get him up? Bring him around into this shallow area. Bring him around there. What's happening is we got a little, a uh, little bull shark. Look at that. So I just lost mine just fell. before, and Banjo's rod yeah. just took off. He's actually quite relaxed. Yeah, he's quite relaxed. Um, bring him, bring him up around that way, I reckon. Or oh, look, look at him. At him. Woo. Woo. Look at that. So he's got this bull shark in the jungle here. Take a look at that. Um, <laughs> he's a good size little fella. So yeah, he's pretty nice looking. Good. Just bring him right into here. Bit shallower. Oh, that is awesome. There we go. Hooks out easy. Still got my bait too. And take a look at that right there. That is a jungle bull shark that Banjo just caught right there. We just got a run in the first five minutes on my rod. It literally got off, so it's so good that Banjo got a run a couple minutes later and we were able to catch this little bull shark right here. Now, the reason why there's so many bull sharks up this river is because the big females will actually drop one to 13 live young at the start of these creek systems and they will venture all the way up here into these safe havens where they don't have any predators and they don't have to worry about food or anything. So they can just stay up here get bigger and then travel out to the sea once they reach that big size so the reason why sharks in general have lived for over 400 million years is because they can adapt to so many environments extremely well and believe it or not these bull sharks can actually travel up into fresh water and how they do that is they've adapted their kidneys and special glands in their tails so that they can store salt inside their body because sharks actually need salt in their bodies if they want to survive all right we're getting a run here Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're on here. Yes! We're on to an eel. Hopefully it's a big one. In the coolest place. Take a look at this, right? We can't let this guy get away. How big is this eel? That is the real question. Let's go! Oh, it looks, it doesn't look too, oh, it's a big eel, it's a good eel. Yes. Oh, just like old times. Take a look at that right there. That is a long finned eel. All right, where can I land him? I reckon I'm gonna land him down here. Woo! <laughs> Take a look at that. That is such a cool colored eel. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's got no spots on it. That is so sick. All right, come down here, buddy. Yes, we're on the same team here. Out of there, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, eels in the rainforest. That is so sick. I actually miss doing this. I can tell that line's getting weaker every time he shakes his head. Let's go. We're going down here, buddy. All right, come back up here, buddy. Let's go. Look at that eel right there. Take, oh, take a look at that. Let's go, we're in the water now. We're fully committed, we're catching this eel. Get him up into the shallows here. Oh, he's trying to go on the camera. No. You're coming down here with me, buddy. So that if you do get off, I've got a little chance of catching you. Again. Now, make a right turn here. And I think we've got him. Take a look at that. Another rainforest eel.
Yep. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. What do you reckon that is? Oh, yes. That feels heavy. I reckon it's a schoolie. Just a bigger one. There we go. Oh, that's a, that's a massive, massive, massive schoolie. That's a big schoolie, hey. Oh, yes. Is that, is that massive? Look at this. Look at that. Big schoolie. Oof. All right, ready? Oh. So we've just hooked up to a big school mackerel right here. Apparently this is a pretty big one. This is my second one I've ever caught. We just caught a little one before. And take a look at this fella, ready? Nah. All right, ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, here we go. Oh! Wow. We're about to hook up. Yeah, there we go. And take a look at that. We're on to a shark right now. Let's go, look at it, it's way over the other side there. We're bringing it in. Let's go. Let's go. We haven't even been here too long and we've already hooked up to a bull shark here. It's running back up that way. What do you reckon about the rods? Um, as long as it's not running too hard. Um. Yeah, look at him. Alright. This is going to be very interesting. Um. There we go. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting getting him in. Good shot. That right there is a big bull shark right in this little canal right here. And this just proves that the sharks in here can get very big. Now, we're gonna get the hook out. We're gonna release him quickly because these sharks are definitely my favorite species. And it's so cool that we can come down here and just catch them just off the bank. Look at that. All right, let's get the hook out and get this guy back in the water. Uh, just get this, get a good shot. Is that a good shot? All right, all right, we're gonna get this guy back in the water right now. We don't wanna stress out these big sharks too much. So just swim him like this for a minute, and then one big push, and off there he goes. goes. There he goes, back into the deep right there. And that right there is a big river bull shark. That is so cool, high five Marley. Now let's get you one. We got the rest of the day, that's so good. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yes. I feel like this is another flatty. Oh, that's not only legal, that's that's not bad for a creek like this. That is not bad. This is a solid little flatty, that's so good. This creek is so overfished. Yes. That is my lunch right there. The flatties are on the chew, mate. So yeah, I'll chuck them in here, cook them up later, and hopefully we can get maybe another flatty or some other fish that we can cook up.
Yes, no way. Oh, there we go, another flatty. He's not a bad one either. I guess we're having flooded for lunch, eh? Oh, he's bigger. He is bigger. Oh. Yes! Oh, he is bigger. He is a lot bigger. Yeah, that's not bad at all. They're just inhaling these Slim Swims. I think that's all the food that we need for the rest of the day. Those flatties will get some big fillets off of them. Oh! Yep, yeah, I'm on. Yep, yeah, oh, you're on my line, you're on my line. Here, quicker, quick, quick. Wait, it's still attached there. Oh, yeah, all right. Yes! We got a tuna! I cannot believe we've hooked up to a tuna right now. Literally, we've been fishing out here for a couple hours, did some exploring, and then out of nowhere, they just started busting up. And we know that this school's still around here, so if we can get this one in, We'll go back out there and try get Locky and hop another one. Yeah, it's a Mackie. That's all right, I'm still stoked with that. Dead right. Yes! We got him! Woo! We got a tuna! Let's go. Woo! Let's go, boys! We got one. And take a look at this. It's a 1.2 meter barramundi on the Sunshine Coast. It's just massive. It took so long, probably like half an hour to get in. At least. 15 pound line. <laughs> Take a look at that. That is actually huge. We're gonna get the hook out and release it straight away. But take a look at that. That's a fish of a lifetime. Literally, look at that. Such an impressive fish. All right, so, yep, she's ready to go. This is a 1.2 meter barramundi here in Caloundra. We're just gonna release it. We got the hook out straight away. I'm gonna swim it off, make sure it's all good. Done and dusted. Yep, there we go. We're on. Yes. Oh. There we go. This is a bass. Oh, yes. We need this if we're going to eat tonight. There we go. An Australian bass. Yes, that's legal. Oh. That was literally on the first trawl since it started getting dark. And there might be a few more out, hey. Let's just get this guy on board. Very careful, I don't have any landing nets or anything. How good is that right there? Oh, we are eating well tonight. Yes. Yep, oh, there we go. Yes. We're hooked up again. Oh, how good is this? They're going off. They're on the chew. The bass are on the chew, the Sabo. <sighs> this one doesn't feel as big. He could take off any second now. But that's two trawls and two bass. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's taken off. I don't know if we'll catch any more bass. So I might take two and then everyone we catch from here just leave. But take a look at that chunky little bass right there. Oh, no, no, no way. No way, that just happened. I was winding in to cast it back out because I didn't think I got anything. And I just got hit by a big bass. This is unreal. This place. Oh, big fella. This place is going off. Oh, that is, that's a chunky one. That's another chunky one. Let's go. Oh my God. That is mental. Yeah, he's running hard. All right. I'm gonna wind and try hook him now. Is he still going? Yep, there we go. 
we're onto something right now on the stand up paddle board. Oh, what is that? Oh, we've hooked up to something. Please don't be off. What is it? He's towing me around. Oh, he's going off. Let's go. Got to keep pressure at all times. I'm hoping that it's a, sh it's a shark. Yes, on the stand up paddle board. Yes, look at that go. We've hooked up to a bull shark here. Woo! All right, let me actually try stand up. This is gonna be so sketchy. Oh, there we go. He's taken off. Would you look at that? Oh, on the stand up paddle board, we have hooked up to a bull shark. Now, these bull sharks are very few and far between in this river at the moment because of how much fresh water's in it. But we managed to get one. I was probably sitting there for about an hour before I got this run. And would you take a look at that? Another jungle bull shark off a blow up stand up paddle board. How good. He's under it at the moment. Oh, you're kidding. There we go. We've hooked up here. He's going around the corner. Oh. Let's keep the pressure and hope it's a bull shark. He's going way up here. He's towing me on my paddle board. What is this? Whatever it is, it is good. Oh, good fish. Let me stand up. Let's go. Let's hope this is a shark. Come on. Oh, no way. That is a monster catfish, I believe. Like a really big one. Oh, well, it's good practice for a shark. Look at the size of that. Oh, the catfish are going off this morning. Thought I had a bull shark for sure. Honestly, I don't think the bull sharks will fight too much harder than that. But the problem is getting them up onto the paddle board without them biting a hole in it. That's going to be the real trick. Let's lift the paddle board up and get them onto the bank. Take a look at that. Big catfish. I always catch catfish no matter where I go. All right. So we'll just bring them in this way. And take a look at the size of this caddy right here. Look at that. That's a pretty solid one. Definitely an upgrade from the last one. Now, as I said before, these catfish will literally eat anything. And these are just the scavengers of these rivers up here. What he'd be doing is just cruising around, barely even hunting, just looking for things that he can pick off the floor and everything. And that's why they keep smashing this eel. Might need to cast my line in a different place. It looks like I've found a whole school of caddies down there. <laughs> now we're not gonna eat this big fella. We're gonna let him go back into the river and hopefully catch some more river monsters. But these guys are such cool looking creatures. See those whiskers on the front there? That's what they use to go around the bottom, feel around for their prey and everything. Yeah, take a look at that. Big fork tail catfish. This is really good practice for those bull sharks. All right, let's get him back in the water. Oh, that's a good fish. Good one? Oh. Hop. Oh, he's up in there. Get him out. Got him. You got him? Yeah. Get him out of there. Oh. oh, get him out of there. Big Jack. Big Jack. I'll get the net. Yes, Hop. Yeah, he's a good one. Yeah. 
Yes! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a stonk. Oh, <laughs> word. good job. Oh, thank you. Got him out of the mangroves as well. Yeah, surely we take this one back. Yep. And cook it up for the video. <laughs> nice. Chomping up the net there. Nice. Not bad. What do you say? Lunch? Definitely. <laughs> So let's get these baits in the water. Just bait up this little hand reel as well. Want as many baits in the water as possible so that we get a better chance of catching a big eel. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm on. Oh, it's an eel. It's a big eel. Oh, look at that. Already. That's awesome. In such a cool place as well. Big eel. Oh. Look at that. How are we gonna land it? Oh, he wants to come up. Take a look at that right there. Alright. I'm waiting for him to tire himself out. And then I'm gonna pull him up onto the bank and grab him. Yes! Up here. Come up here, buddy. There we go. We have no joke. Been fishing for how long? 10 minutes and we've already caught this eel. Hold up, let me grab him. If you've handled an eel, you'll know what I'm going through right now. <laughs> These things are so slippery. Wow, and take a look at that. So this right here is the long finned eel. I've caught so many of these guys. My first viral video that I ever posted was catching one of these guys in the creek and that's what inspired me to come out here again and do it today, fishing for river monsters. Now this guy, he isn't a river monster, but his older cousins are. So we're gonna get the lines back in the water Hopefully catch a bigger eel. Yeah. There we go. I think this could be another eel. Surely. We just got a little run at the moment. It's been another like 10 minutes or so. Hopefully this is a massive one. Oh, there he is. Oh, it <laughs> is. I think it's bigger. There we go. Look at that over there. That's awesome. Another eel. Yes. All right, so he's not a river monster, but these guys are getting bigger. Ready? We'll bring him down into here. Truly an ancient creature right here. Ancient eel just living in this little pool. It's so cool catching him in such a great location. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. He's definitely bigger. He's just tangling himself up in it. Look, he's death rolling. All right, we're just getting him down in here. Ooh. There we go. Second deal of the day. These guys are so hard to handle. Such incredibly strong creatures for their size. Look at that. Almost like a snake how he's walking on the land. You just can't hold on to them. As a chunky eel. That is they are getting noticeably bigger. Looks super healthy too. Yeah, very fat eel. He must be loving life living in that little pool there. Yep, yep. There we go. That's a good fish. We're on here. Second cast. So we've just hooked up to something good here. We're hoping it's something legal that we can take. Already got a big bass. It's actually going really hard, eh? We're gonna get a look at it in a second here. Oh, second cast, big Australian bass. We'll get him in here. That right there is a nice size Australian bass, well over legal size, how good is that? I reckon we're gonna keep this one, keep on fishing, see how many more bass we can catch, but that's a really good start right there. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh. Another bass, yes. Take a look at that. <sighs> yeah, he's not bad. So fun catching these fellas on light gear. And take a look at that big fella right there. That is so cool, a little Australian bass, probably around the 30 centimeter mark. We measured the first one that we got and it was actually 37 centimeters and the legal limit for these guys is 30. One bass is gonna be plenty enough for me and Miley right here. So we're gonna let all these ones go. 
Yep, I'm on. There we go. Good fish, whatever this is. Oh, take a look at that. This is a big fish right here. I'm not sure what it is either. I told you these things are good bait. I wonder what it is. Oh, no way. It's a long fish. All right, so you gotta be very careful with this species. You're not even allowed to target them, but if you catch them accidentally, keep them in the water at all times, get the hook out and release them straight away. Wow, this is an incredibly rare fish right here. Come on, buddy. I'm not trying to hurt you. What a beautiful fish. Sorry, mate. Oh, I didn't mean to catch you. There we go. Hook's out. Off you go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Woohoo! Let's go! I got a caddy! Take a look at that! Under the waterfall. Let's go, catfish. This one would probably be about 35 centimeters, which is the legal limit. How good is that? Now this right here is gonna be my dinner. Take a look at that. For no food, no water up the creek. I'm gonna have a drink out of this waterfall in a second, but we got dinner right there. I'm so keen to set up a fire and cook this little fella up. That's so good. Woo! Eel tail caddies, just like the old days. All right, let's take him back to camp. Take a look at that, we got one. Oh, never mind, the bass are biting. The bass are biting. Yes, look at that. We've hooked up. That's a bass. Let's go. <laughs> that is so good. Hopefully this one's legal and we can cook him up. Oh, there we go. He's going off. And take a look at that. That's a, that's a nice bass. Definitely legal. Oh, that is awesome. I can't believe I was almost about to result to catching spangled bat. Yes! Oh, take a look at that. That is a beautiful fish. And that is going to be our breakfast right there. That is a good fish. Take a look at that. And it's not an eel tail catfish. Imagine I'm trawling and hook one of them. I would just jump off the kayak right now. We found the tuna, baby! Are they? Longies. Yep. Longies. Am I filming? Yep. Yep. Filming. Red? Yep. yep. Double hook up. Am I filming? Red? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Get it out there, Hop. Triple hook up. Um, Let's okay. go. Go, Hop. Go. Triple hook up. Let's yes. Go. Let's go. Longies. Triple hooked up to some tuna. Woo. Oh, they're going hard. Let's go, baby. So we were about to go in and we thought, why not just try get one more tuna? And we have not only hooked one, we've hooked three. Oh, we were chasing that school for so long, had so many casts at it, but we've triple hooked up. Get in front of me, boys, for the shot. Oh, oh. oh. chill out, boys, chill out. Woohoo! I got some one back in one. No, you should really crank yours in. Yeah, you reckon? Get up here. Do you reckon these are longies? Yeah, I lost one. You lost yours? Bang. Nah, keep going. Oh, nah, yeah, he still got him. <laughs> oh, shark, shark. Oh, shark, 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 shark. Crank it in, crank it in. Oh, he's got oh, it. My Lord. Oh, my Lord. I knew that was going to happen. No. Oh! Big longies too. Hold up. Longies. So we've moved off the idea of triple hooking up because that idea is a bit dodgy, let's be honest. I just want to get one to eat. Oh! Oh, got there. Okay, cool. that, that's a, a longie. It's a longie. Yeah. 
Oh no, you gotta get clean so I'm gonna tell I miss it. We're cranking him up at the moment. I'm not getting shocked again. You'll tell him where you'll tell him where to go. Your boss. There we go. Right, ready? Oh, I think there might be a big one on him, Mike. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. One next circle, next circle. Yes! Oh! We got one! Woo! Yes! <laughs> Good job! Let's go, boys! We got one! Alright! And after all day of fishing, we finally got a big tuna. Take a look at that big fella right there. That right there is a long tail tuna, and that right there is gonna be our lunch.